I wanted to come on here today and dispel some myths about what raising your vibration, your vibrational frequency, your energy, whatever words you resonate with, what it really means, because there are a lot of distortions out there of what it really means. And unless you really truly understand what it means, it's gonna be hard to achieve that goal, right? And actually, some of the stuff I've heard about what, you know, raising your vibe and high vibes only actually kind of makes my stomach kind of turn because they're actually really, really unhealthy. A lot of what we hear about, you know, high vibes only, which is actually a, a, a phrase that I really do not like, actually amounts to toxic positivity or bypassing, which essentially means no matter what's happening around you, don't feel it, just be happy. Look at the bright side, you know, um, yeah, just don't say anything that could be perceived as negative or anything like that. And that is actually so incredibly damaging because what it does is actually people don't deal with anything and they don't have honest conversations. And so much of corporate, so much of uh, places you work and careers have a foundation of toxic positivity. So, you know, you're in a meeting and everybody knows there's something wrong, but we're all pretending. We're all pretending that this is normal. That is not, you know, being high vibe. That is actually bypassing and it's actually ignoring issues. And that's not what having a high frequency means. See, having a high frequency is, is your body. It's your energy around you. It's not the words you say. I mean, the words do change when you increase your frequency, but that's not what this is about. If you're talking to somebody and they're saying stuff that's really positive, but you're not feeling it, they're completely incongruent. They're not vibrating at a high frequency. They may be saying high frequency words, but so many of you can feel that now. We can feel when something is distorted. And the reason is, you know, a big part of raising your frequency and having a high vibration is actually authenticity. So, so many people are not authentic because they're afraid. They're afraid they're gonna be judged. They're afraid they're not gonna be uh, enough. They're, they're afraid they're not gonna be perceived as enough. So we aren't authentic. And that happens for a lot of people right now, yet so many people are craving it. Why? Because it is a high vibrational frequency. Because what is behind authenticity? What's really behind it? If you are truly authentic, what you're really saying is, okay world, this is me. This is me at my core. This is who I am. I love me. I'm good with me. You know, I know I've got some flaws. I know I've got some quirks. You know, I do things. I screw up sometimes, but I'm okay with that. And if you don't like me, world, family member, job, whatever it is, if you don't like me, I'm okay with that. And I'm actually gonna be okay. And furthermore, I'm actually gonna be okay with whatever life throws at me. Behind authenticity is a deep, deep self-love. Now, self-love is another term that's been, I think, just completely distorted. Um, it's not about bubble baths. It's not about, oh, I love myself. It really is. It's a deep sense from within you that says, I'm actually brilliant. I, I actually think I'm awesome. I believe I'm awesome. Um, I've got gifts. I've got things to do in this world. Um, I know I'm valuable. And that's not arrogance. You know, that's been distorted also as arrogance. It's not. You're a child of God. You are a child of the universe, however you want to look at it. How could you not be brilliant and gorgeous and fabulous? But here's the other part of this. I personally think I'm all those things, but I also think them about you. I think them about everybody. And so it's having this deep sense of self-love and then that love just overflows out into this world. It's this deep sense of faith and trust, knowing everything is going to be okay. Now, when hiccups come along the way, you deal with them, but here's the thing. When you're in a high vibrational state, when life throws curveballs at you, and it always will, this is part of the human experience. 
you will move through them so quickly. You know, I remember years ago before I changed my frequency and really started working on it, you know, a problem would come along and I feel like I would sit in that for a long time. Like I would, I would feel crappy or I wouldn't be able to move through it or actually switch my perspective and come to a place where I feel really grounded. When you're in a high vibrational place, you still feel the things, they still come in, okay? So like fear still comes in, things still come up, but the difference is you're actually able to move through it so much quicker. Like it could be an hour instead of a month. And next thing, like you're moved on to the next thing. So that's also how, you know, when I talk about raising your frequency to actually have more success and fulfillment in your career, it's because you're able to move through stuff. There's so many angles I could explain this and describe this about why having a high frequency is going to bring you success and fulfillment. And that's just only one of them because you do, you move through things so quickly. So I just wanted to come on here and really lay this out here because I really want this for you. I know I'm doing a masterclass in two weeks and I have said time and time again, this is a game changer. This really is. This is how you achieve a deep level of peace and harmony. You know, when you talk to somebody or you're around someone and they just feel grounded and rooted and just all okay, that's a high frequency. That's, that's, not, um, that's not toxic positivity and we know that now. So I'm gonna put the link down below to my masterclass. If you're somebody who's been thinking to yourself, okay, I know I'm not in the right place in my career, um, but I'm feeling scared. I'm unsure and I don't know how to deal with this. I'm not quite ready to start figuring this out. This is a really good starting place because you will start to feel differently. Like I said, when you start to raise your frequency, you start to see solutions and you move through things. So this could be an amazing, an amazing first step. It's gonna be three sessions. You're gonna be able to interact, ask questions. I'm gonna be giving support in a group uh, on LinkedIn, which you'll get access to a week before the session start. This is really about changing how you feel really at your core, not only about yourself, but about life in general. So I'd love it if you would join. Um, any questions, please reach out. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.